So I already primed my eyes using foundation and then set it with foundation powder. So now I'm going to be going in Brew On Fres Fresco. It's just this kind of mauve lavender-ish shade. I'm going to start by applying that in my crease and kind of winging it out. So I follow the curve from the inner half towards my nose and then for the outer portion I just kind of go in a more straight line. Then I'll be taking some on the outer V. So I'm basically placing this all over my lid except for in this really center portion where my pupil is because that is where I want it to be pretty light. Now the reason I prefer winged eyeshadow instead of winged liner is this eye, you can tell, has it's a little bit droopy and it kind of has, um, it's a little bit hooded. And so having winged eyeliner, I'll apply it and then it always sinks a little bit lower and I can kind of compensate with that with going up higher, but I feel like the eyeshadow just looks better in general. Now taking this skinny wet and wild brush, I'm just going to take that same purple shade and start from under my eye and just wing that up. I'll be taking this shade Warm Taupe with my blending brush and just applying that in my crease. And I'm just taking a very small amount. Now for the lid, I'm going to take the color Vermeer. I'm just going to take that on my finger Going in with a little bit of that purple shade, just blending the shimmers into the eyeshadow. Okay, so for my lids, I'm going to be taking the L'Oreal Infallible in the shade Amber Rush, and I'm just going to be applying that on top as well. I wanted to give this look a little bit more warmth. Okay, and then I'm just going to be tight, tight lining with the e.l.f. Gel Liner. Okay, so now that I've tight lined, the last thing I'm going to do is just apply some mascara. Okay, so now that I've applied the mascara, I am just going to finish up my makeup and I will be right back. I finished my makeup, I applied some lipstick and some bronzer. I used the butter bronzer and I did a review on that bronzer so you can just watch out for that video and I will link it below if it's up. If not, it should be up shortly after this video and I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial on how to get a winged eyeshadow. I really enjoy it. I feel like it's really feminine and sultry and a little bit edgy at the same time. Depending on what colors you use, you can really kind of change the, the look and the effect that it gives. So thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you next time.